We consider an elastic rod of bending stiffness B covering a fixed span L. This rod is loaded transversely with a force F. And if we do this, nothing special occurs if these are two simple supports. And insisting loading at a certain load, the elastic rod will simply slip down. Uh, our problem to address today is if self-encapsulation is possible, meaning that for a fixed span L and a transverse force F, the elastic rod uh, goes into self-contact and forms the shape of a drop. Uh, this problem we are prone to believe that has a solution because we know that the uh, differential equation of the elastica governs not only the shape of uh, an elastic road but also the shape of a uh, pending drop. The trick is to replace the simple supports with some more complicated constraints and in particular we use a clamp on the left and a sliding sleeve on the right. A sliding sleeve leaves the possibility of free sliding of the elastic rod so that if we load this structure transversely with this force F, a bending moment is generated and this bending moment originates a configurational force m squared divided 2b which is axial and compresses the structure so that at a certain force a dripping point is observed where self-encapsulation occurs and after this the drop grows. We have found this behavior analytically, solving the nonlinear equation of the elastica, and now our goal is to move to the lab and confirm this theoretical prediction. We return to the structure showing self-encapsulation to perform precise and quantitative experiments in which the mid-span deflection W is imposed with a testing machine and the force F is measured. This uh, experiment fully confirms the theoretical prediction which is shown here in which the force goes up to a maximum and then it goes down through a force reversal and eventually self-encapsulation is reached.